Hello, Grumpy Old Fart here. Uh, I'm doing a movie review of a classic movie, Quigley Down Under. Um, this movie was made in 1990. It is an American classic. It's basically the plot is as American cowboy sharpshooter in Australia. Uh, th like I said, this is a classic. It's got, again, Australia, but it is just like the Old West. It, it's amazing how, how many parallels there are between the American West and uh, the, the, the Australian outback at the time. I don't know how historically accurate that is, but it makes for a damn good movie, I'll tell you that. Um, the plot basically is Matthew Quigley is an American cowboy who has a specially modified Sharps rifle with which he is very accurate at extreme ranges. Uh, he, uh, he answers an, adver an, an advertisement uh, from a man in Australia who wants to hire a long-range sharpshooter, and he, it's a, it's a, you know, he goes on a, a long ocean voyage to get there, and this takes place shortly, very shortly after the Civil War. Uh, most of the people are still using cap and ball revolvers. I don't know if it's that the, the cartridge pistols haven't made it over there, or, uh, you know, because Quigley's rifle is using cartridges, so I know it's after the Civil War. I'm pretty sure it's after the Civil War. But it's not, uh, I don't know how far, I don't know what year it is. Uh, at any rate, during the course of the conversation with this with this guy that hired him, he finds out that the man wants him to eliminate these Aborigines, which are the native Australians, the, the, little, the little guys. And that would be something in America akin to hiring somebody, a long-range sharpshooter, to take out... You know, to, to eliminate Native Americans, you know, American Indians. Uh, so, of course, Quigley takes offense at this. And he kicks the man out of his own home, beats him up, kicks him out. Uh, long story short, they capture him, they beat him up. And there's a girl that he helps earlier named, her name is Cora. They call her Crazy Cora. And uh, they take the two of them and they drop them out in the, out in the outback, out in the desert without any water and they're expecting the outback to kill them uh which may very well have happened if not for the intervention of some aborigines who get them bring them in tend to their you know they're severely dehydrated from like water and what all and they 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 help them um and they they stay with these aborig aborigines for a short period of time and become friends with them uh Later on, Quigley goes back to exact revenge on this guy because he he's he's sending people to kill Quigley and it's and the girl, you know, and they're killing everybody around him and it's just it becomes a slaughter and it was ridiculous. They burned buildings down and the whole nine yards. Um, <clears throat> the story, the plot, the story arcs, the characters, the character development, uh, all are excellent. Really, really good. Uh, I, I really wish they would have done more with Quigley's background, but they did enough to where it was a good, they, they did a good job of it. Um, it's a wonderful movie, action-packed, great scenery. If you've not seen Australia, it's got some really beautiful, beautiful scenery. Um, the cast is Tom Selleck plays Matthew Quigley, Laura San Giacomo plays Crazy Cora, and Alan Rickman plays the guy that hired him. I want to say his name's Masters. Uh, uh, sad note, Alan Rickman here a while back died, a really great actor, he was, he did a lot of really great movies, he was in, uh, Galaxy Quest, he was in, uh, uh, Love Actually, I mean, really great actor, he did comedy, did drama, he could do just anything, and he could do it really well, he was really good, and, you know, prayers for him and his family, we miss him, he's, a, he was a great actor, but, uh, back to the movie, Really good movie. It's a classic. If if you if you're a gun person like we are, you can't go wrong with Quigley Down Under. Great family movie. A uh, lot of uh, a lot of good lessons learned in there for the younger kids, if you know what I mean. But anyway, we're all stuck at home, and if you're running out of something to watch, you can't go wrong with Quigley Down Under. 
You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.